All right, so we're going to key in. We're going to key in the road design. We're going to key in the data. So we go into the roads module. We go into define. Okay, so we're going to key in the road. You could either you can import roads from Roadmaker mm -hmm. or, or other software, but we're going to create our own road. So we're going to say new. So we've got to give it a road name. So we're just going to call it R1, road one, and okay. So now it's going to ask us for these this information. So we're going to start off with our horizontal alignment, and we're going to say new, and we're going to say our start point. So well, first of all, I start st a chainage or station is chainage, chainage zero. We're not going to key in coordinates. We're going to select a point because we did. You can either import these points mm -hmm. as a CSV or in our case, we measured a few points. So we're going to say list. So we're going to start is the start. Our chainage interval, normally you would have it 20, but because we're in the office, we're going to bring it down to two meters. Just you'll see mm -hmm. how the impact and store. Okay, then, our, then we, now we've got to do the end. So we say a new thing. What do we want to do? We want to, so these are different methods. So yeah. if I say PI, it's going to jump into the PI method. All right, so it's, it, it basically like changed its, its into PI method. We say new, we're going to say point name, list, end. All right, so that's our end. If you had curves and that, you would go circular. It's not. We don't normally use transitions in this country. Mm -hmm. Circular. All that. All the. All that curve data, you're gonna get from your uh, long sections. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So here our road length is ten point seven two nine. So let's, I need to write that down. Uh, ten comma seven two nine. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Okay, and we can accept. All right, so we've created the horizontal alignment. Now we need to create the vertical alignment. So vertical alignment is your first chainage. It's mm -hmm. chainage zero, and our elevation at the start was two zero zero point six eight six six eight six. Enter, store. All right, our next one. You've also got different ways to start. VPI is normally what you would, you would use. Yes. We're going to use that. We say OK. Uh, element, you would normally use a symmetrical parabola for vertical alignment. Yeah. So vertical alignments don't use circular curves. They use symmetrical mm -hmm. parabolas. Okay. So that so symmetrical, both sides of the, of the curve is identical. Yes. Okay. Other countries, they might use these others. But anyway, today we just got a point. So the, the length of our road was, our end is 10.729. And that height at the end was 199.881. 881. All right. And there we go. It calculated your slope. So that slope should correspond to the same slope that's written on the, uh, on the long section, on the drawings. Mm -hmm. So as you're punching in the data, the stuff must start correlating. Mm -hmm. Okay, store and accept. So now we've created a horizontal, we've created a vertical alignment. Our next thing is we create a template. Okay, so a template that is your typical cross section, and a template refers to the either the left hand side or the right hand side, and we can mirror in this. So on our design, let's just go here. So on our on our design, we've got these two sides of the road we're gonna it's the same design so we're going to be template one template one here we've got a widening we're going to say this is template two and on this side of the road we're going to continue with template one okay we're going to say okay so now we're going to create these templates okay let's come over here. okay so templates edit and we say new all right, so we're going to call this one uh, template one. Uh, and if you had other jobs or other, you can you can copy oh, the yes. the, cop the typical cross sections from yeah. other other road designs. So template one, we're going to say add. Now we're we're in cross section view, and that's the center of the road. So now we've got to build our template. So we're going to say new, and our template name to the 
to that piece is going to be to the to the edge of the road er um, and here we're going to use delta elevation and offset all right so delta elevation means we're gonna we're gonna go up zero and we're gonna go across north point seven five oops 0.75. So our road width is 0.75. Um, on this piece, we need to apply super elevation. So later on, we'll show you where we apply super elevation. And, and I don't like to use widening so much. It does get a bit confusing. Um, and say store. So we've we've gone from our center line of the road. We've gone nothing. We've just gone straight across yes. to our road width. Now we've got to put our shoulder in, so we say new, and we're going to call this thing the shoulder, shoulder, um, and we're going to go delta elevation and offset, delta elevation once again will be zero, and our shoulder width is 0.25, and enter, and we also want to apply the super elevation, because the road width and the road shoulder needs to have the same cross fall, all right? Just to explain to you, like if there's a curb scenario, yeah. so we're going to say new, we're going to call this, uh, we're going to go to top of curb, so TK, and yeah, we're going to use delta elevation offset. So delta elevation, we our curb height is how much? 0.1, mm -hmm. just for example, and our offset is zero. All right, so store. So now we can see we've gone up for the curb. Now we've got to go to the back of back of the walkway. Well, now we're onto the walkway. So let's call this uh, walkway. Um, now we're going to make this a little bit different. We're going to use cross slope and off and offset. So the walkway, doesn't matter what the road is doing, the walkway must always drain into the road. Okay? Because that's, that's how our road design works. So our cross slope here, we can type in, let's just say it's a... It's got to fall back into the road. So it's a, it's a plus. plus, correct, a 2%. Plus 2%. Um, and our offset of our walkway, let's say our walkway is, say, 0.25 wide. We're not applying super elevation because the cross slope is going to automatically, it's going to be four. So it doesn't matter what the road is doing, that walkway will always fall into the road. So there we can see we've, we've built our little road. The last element is the batter, and we're going to call this batter, B-A-T, and we use side slope. The Trimble calls batter side slope. So our cut slope, we normally will do 1 is to 1.5, and the fill is 1 is to 2. But it's currently, if I type in a number like 2, it's, it's in percent. So we've got to change this out of percent. How we do that, we go to options and we go to rise to run. So in South Africa, we say rise to run. So one is one up, 1.5 across. So we're going to use rise to run. Rise to run, accept. And let's just say that is our cut slope is 1.5 and our full slope is 1 is to 2. Cut ditch width, that's the drain width. Mm. So in a cut scenario, it will automatically add a piece for the drain. Mm -hmm. In a full scenario, it won't. Yes. Okay? And, the, and you only know the cut or full scenario when you measure on site and it'll decide, the software will decide, is it in a cut scenario or is it in a full scenario? So let's just say our cut, cut ditch width is another 0.25. And store. Okay, so... In a full scenario, we're going to come to the shoulder break points over there, and we're going to come down. Yeah. In a cut scenario, it's going to see that. It's going to test that point on the ground, and then, oh, it's a cut. So then it's got, it has to add the drain, yeah. and then it goes up for the batter. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Makes sense. And then we can say accept. And we can say accept. So we've created one template. Our road has got two templates, so let's go create another template. Template one, and we're going to go say new. We're going to call this uh, template 
two. All right. And we're gonna we can we can copy. yeah we can copy because we've got a lot of stuff and yeah. then edit it. Yeah. So we're copying that, but we want to edit our road width. Okay. We want to edit the road width because we have a road widening. So the road width we're gonna make it one point two five. One point two five. One point two five, enter, and everything remains the same. Mm -hmm. But our template two doesn't have a curb, so we come here. It doesn't have a walkway, so we're going to go there. Oh, sorry, we can just say uh, delete that little element. Delete this element. Because you press on. Uh, yeah, you tap on the little the little thing. Yeah. Mm. You can tap on it. To activate it and then. Yes. Like it. Edit it or whatever. So, so our template two. Doesn't have a walkway, doesn't have a curb. And we can say accept. Done. Accept. All right. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing is template position. So so new. So at the beginning of the road, just change zero, we're going to use template one. And on the right, we're going to use template one. So it's going to mirror image template one for us. All right. And we're going to keep going. Yeah, Let's have a look. No, you'll at the see. Beginning of the road. Isn't it template two? No. Oh, oh yes, yeah, you're right. Sorry, you were paying attention in class. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, we said on the right, eh? Yeah. Right is template two. Okay, template two, store. So now we're gonna we're gonna have a change over. Let's just go back to the drawing. So we our road is ten meters here. So let's just say this is gonna be at four meter change four, and this is gonna be change uh, six. Okay, yeah. all right, so let's come back here. So we're going to continue. We're going to say new, insert at start, no. We're going to say at change four, we, we continue with the same thing, all right? Because it, it knows then from there to there, those is, that's what the design yes. is. Now we're going to have a transition at uh, six. Template on the left hand side, we're going to continue with one, and the right hand side, we're going to now go to one. Mm. Store, and then to the end of the road, which was what, 10.729, that's going to be template one and template one. Store. Okay, so that's that makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Nice and clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, quite simple. All right, except. All right. The last thing that we need to do is super elevation and widening. So, remember when we built the template, we ticked the little box that said apply super elevation. Yeah. So, it's going to apply it to that element of the road, which is the road width and the shoulder. So, we're going to say new. Uh, start station is change zero. Super elevation, we've, we've just got to change it to percent again. Super elevation, we're going to say it's minus three and minus three. Enter. Pivot crown means you could have it the crown on the left or the right. In South Africa, we keep it in the middle of the road. Mm -hmm. If you have widenings, you can do it there. I prefer to do the widenings in the template and apply the templates at different places. Like have a template with a widening. Okay. Okay. Store, and we're gonna try. Now we're gonna put in the end. So we're gonna say at ten point seven two nine. Our left, we are going to raise it up, correct? We're going to go to 3%, and the right, we're going to keep it minus 3. Store. Accept. All right, so we've pretty much keyed in the whole road. I'm just going to say store. Some templates are positioned outside of the alignment's extent. So that means my template positions, oh, they are typed in the change wrong. Pay attention, Dan. 7, 2, 9. Store. Accept. Store. Okay, okay, cool. So now we've saved the road. I like to go back and edit. And you can review. So now there's our view of the road. That's how you can see where the widening's yeah. happening. And if you jump over into cross-section view, you can now use the ar arrows to, to jump cross through your cross-section. You mm -hmm. see how we went from four to six, how it changed? Yeah. And look how the cross section, how the super elevation mm -hmm. is coming through. So I just want to close Very that. Cool.
let's just I'll show you now let's just go back to horizontal alignment I want to edit I want to make this station interval one meter yeah just so that you're going to see more data except review. Oh, review so now you can see there's more data typically on site you're going to be 20 meters or 10 meters mm -hmm. so now if we go through our cross sections as you toggle you can see you can see the information changing. Now, what did you press after let's go back review this little and i went to review this little icon oh, over yeah, here okay. so that's your little cross section icon All right. okay then at any when you go you you go through your road and it's very important that you double check your information you can tap on this thing so it tells, it tells you all the information yeah. and most importantly is your er offset is 1.25 your elevation is that go and check that on the drawing yeah. make sure it's the same mm -hmm. So you've got to go through the road on here. 100%. Sit in it, go through it, toggle each chainage. You don't have to check every single one. Check four or five along the way. Yeah. It's mathematical. Okay. If it's correct, it's correct. Okay. All right. So that's keying in a road. Mm -hmm. Close and store. Okay.